Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you um, one way of using uh, Voronoi uh, mesh in uh, Grasshopper, uh, in Rhino Grasshopper, uh, to create an interesting structure. Uh, so first, I'm going to model a box in the Rhino. And I'm going to adjust the lighting of uh, this box. I will use uh, di directional light. And now I will open the grasshopper, create a B rep, and assign set one B rep like this. And in Rhino, I will hide the box here. So now I will bring the Voronoi, Voronoi 3D. And uh, here it's better for me to display icons instead of uh, uh, drawings, uh, instead of names. And uh, now I will populate the geometry or populate 3D, which create random points on the surface. So now we have random points on the cube. A number of points, I will control the number of points by creating, for example, uh, 30 that we can control later. And uh, seed controls the position of the points and uh, uh, therefore the shape itself. So 20, we, we are going to um, manipulate this also. Here I'm going to align these together. So here I will hook up the points with the points, as you can see here. So, and I will preview off this so that I could see this well. So now you can see here we control the number of cells and here we control the shape itself. Choose an interesting shape or the shape that you, you would like to use. Um, now I will deconstruct, uh, deconstruct uh, B-Rep so that I could get uh, the faces uh, the faces only and the edges uh, or the structure. And here I will use a uh, pipe to the edges and I will use radius of 0.2 for example. You can control the radius also from here, but I don't want a large size. 0.2, let's, let's assume this is the metal mesh, uh, the structure of the cells and here we will have, uh, we have this structure, I will color, uh, use color swatch. I will choose a color for this. And I'll use a preview. Custom preview and, and hook up the geometry here. And here we have the cells. I will preview off all previous uh, components so that you could uh, see uh, it clear. Preview off. As you can see here, we have uh, the structure only. And now I'm going to preview also the cells inside the structure and assign them different color. And as you can see here, we have the structure. Now uh, let's remove some of the cells so that we could have much interesting structure. We will use uh, something that is called reduce, random reduce. And here I will hook up the faces. Uh, or maybe the cells itself here. 
And before uh, selecting the, here, here we have the list that you want to reduce from. And here you have the reduction. How many number of items do you want to remove? And here the seed that controls the reduction, or, uh, the reduction shape, which uh, cells to reduce. Um, so here I will see with a panel first. How many cells do I have here? As you can see, we have 45 cells. I'll put this aside. 45 cells, um, uh, we can increase the number of cells from here. So 46 instead of 37. And increasing the number of cells here, increase the number of um, cells in the Voronoi, increasing the points, number of points in the, uh, in the populate. Uh, geometry or populate 3D, increase the number of cells by default. And here we have 86. So I'm going to, uh, for example, reduce by 40. I'll choose 40 to reduce it. Now you can see I can uh, hook this instead. So as you can see, we have 40 reduced cells and I will also preview of this so that you can see the structure. And uh, what if I increase the number of reduction, reduced cells? And here I can see the seed. I can use the seed to create uh, other uh, shapes. So here I can control these shapes, which want to reduce. And, and now I can also control here again the number of cells that I can reduce. Uh, the number of cells here to 54, for example. And here you will, you will find a problem with this element. You will find an error with this component because you have uh, 66 uh, to reduce, but you have only uh, 53 uh, cells. You don't have more than 66. So here I will need to make this number uh, 38, for example. And here you can see the seed creates different structures. So thank you for watching and uh, wait for more. Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. In the previous uh, tutorial, I showed you how to create this structure. And now I will show you how to create it without uh, having this box uh, border. Uh, so first, you will come here. This is the one who is creating uh, the border of the box or is con or is controlled by a box border. I will remove uh, this one. And I will have the here instead, I will use the deconstruct VREP in this part with this component. And then take the edges. Here you have a, a shape which is different from what we had before. Here you can also control how many cells do you have, and so on. Uh, so now I will also take another uh, random um, structure from this part. Uh, well, here I will remove this, and then here I will reduce. We'll create the random reduce using these cells. And then, as you can see here, we have 53, so I might choose to reduce by 20. 20, and now we have this new cells, which I will preview off. And I will also create uh, a slider for the seed, the random of positions. And now I will take this uh, one uh, by taking this deconstruct VREP, the same here. And I will hook up by using shift these two faces only also. So as you can see, we have the new cells which I can increase the number of reduced cells so that I could get rid of uh, the box frame or the shape of the box. And here you can control the seed, which shape do you want to have? And here you can control also by reducing or increasing the number of the cells reduced here. 
So, and you can also keep playing with these sliders to create much more interesting points. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.